Hello my friends and welcome. I hope you're doing fine. And in this video we'll have a look at the next exercise of exorcism. It's called anagram. Let's go. Cool. So anagram. Let's read the instructions. An anagram is a rearrangement of letters to form a new word. Okay. So we have a word, we rearrange it, and then we get a new word. Given a word and a list of candidates, select the sublist of an anagram of anagrams of the given word. Okay, <laughs> you need to read, uh, yeah, to do this exercise. Cool. So um, we have here an example. So we have given listen and a list of candidates like enlist, Google inlets, banana. The program should return a list containing inlets. All right, so we return a list, so that's important. Um, so let's go through the, the example. So listen is the word that we get, and we get this uh, list that contains these things. So we go th um, we compare the first one, and, li and lists. Is it, the, is it an anagram? No, because it's very close, but it has one S more, so it's not an anagram. Google, no. Inlets, yes, that's an anagram. Uh, banana, no. All right, so that's the example. Cool, so how should we go um, and solve this exercise? So um, a tip from my side. Um, um, what I do is to, um, I don't go and, <laughs> and hit the keyboard. Whoops and start to, to, to type um, the, the, uh, the program right away because you need to think about it. So what I do is, I can show you. Oops. Yeah. Basically, I write everything down and think about it and then um, put the solution that I have on paper in program. So think about programming as a tool, not as a solution, whatever. Because I know I tend also to to say, all right, I know the method, so let me type stuff and then I get stuck because I I didn't think through it. Okay. So let's transition back. Okay, so there's um, something called UML. You can type UML in uh, in your favorite search tool and then you get um, it looks like this so you see here um, you have a uh, for example a class it calls iterator and then you have the the methods for that you have different classes that are there are uh, children of that class and 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 so on so if you need to to learn about this one and um, how you can use that for your your programming methods uh, routines so this one is called uml so Highly recommend it. Um, but what we will do now is to use basically a simplified version of that. So let's go to the whiteboard and let's put some ideas down. So we get a word. So the word is master, for example. Okay. And we get a string, a, a list of words. For example, stream. Oops, stream dog uh, matters cat and so on whatever okay so you see there are two words that are basically the um, anagram of master all right cool so what we need to do is to to um, take this word and then go here is it an anagram yes okay put it in a new list is this an anagram no is this an anagram? Yes. Is this an anagram? No. Okay, so we take these two words, put it in a new list, and give that list back. Okay, so let's write that down. Um, what we need to do is to sort... Um, ah, sorry, I didn't say the idea. So how can we, how can we do these comparison? Um, what you can do is to 
to go here and split this string so you have a um, um, an um, a list of characters and then take each character and go here and say is this an m no is this an m no 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 yes okay m is in this word uh, is an a in this word yes and so on you can do it like that so just um, keep in mind there's no perfect way to do something so there's different ways to solve uh, pro programming um, problem problem yeah cool so um, how should how how would we do it now so um, let's think about it so you can take character by character but it's somehow maybe it takes a lot of processing power it takes some I don't know it's, it's maybe it's complicated so the easiest way that I found is to take this word to split it so you have an array and then to sort it alphabetically okay so you have something like a e m and so on take this word sort it also alphabetically so you get also a e m and so on then compare these two strings if it's if they they are uh, comp like if it's true if they both are the same then put it in put this this word here okay it's it's easier than to go um, character by character okay so let's write that down so we need to have something like sort and this will be a method because we will use it two times or three times because we needed one one okay let me do it like this and uh, sort string we will call it yeah because we need it one time for this one and a couple of times for this list here okay let's put it here let's do it like this uh, so it goes here and this one goes here okay cool if we um, sort these things what is the uh, result of that so we get a e m r s t okay so we get from this one this string and from the first string we get this one as well okay what's the next step we say sort uh, we say <laughs> compare compare uh, let's do it like this so we take this one put it here take this one put it here we compare both both of them if the comparison is true we put um, this word stream in a new list so a new list and let's do like this okay so as you see this one is kind of like uml but it's a uh, it's um call it whatever free thing free thinker way to do it <laughs> uh, okay to put in your list so what is the result of this example so it will be something like stream and matters so this is the solution of this anagram okay so as you see if we put it like this it's now easier to to program it because we have the idea we know the the steps so first we need to sort alphabetically this word we need to sort this word alphabetically then we need to compare both of them then we put it in a list see it's if you just just started to type the stuff it doesn't work okay so we have this okay so let's go back to this one and copy this and open the terminal let's clear this um, I already did this video a couple of times 
<laughs> because um, yeah, um, I had some problems with the with the video. Okay, so we downloaded it there. Let's see if we are there. Yeah, perfect. Okay, cool. So what we need to do now is to open the the file and open the test file. Okay, so let's have a look at the test file. So we have a class, a class, and then we, this is our method name. Okay, cool. So our method has a return of list of strings. It, uh, as a parameter, it gets a string and a list of strings. Okay, cool. So let's copy this and go to dartpad. Get rid of this. Um, cool. Let's. Uh, why don't we do it? Okay, so we have a class. Let's go back here. The class name. Always copy paste because you don't want these uh, errors. Like if you write something incorrectly, it's. <sighs> it's. Um, pain you know where <laughs> all right so you have the the anagram and yeah basically you need to um let's copy this as well and then you need the uh, whoops you need the the name of the method okay so we have a, a list of strings it's the method name and this one gets a string and a list of list of come on string okay so let's name these uh, things so let's say this is a word and this is a list of words a list oops list uh, of words All right, so um, these are the, the things. Okay, so if we go back to the whiteboard, we see this one and this one is the same. So this is um, a method that we are using for, for this thing. So let's implement this method first. So what does, does this method, method do? It takes a string and gives a string back. So this is the result. So it takes a string. Um, kind of split it and then reordered everything give the new string back so let's do that so we get a string back uh, let's call it sort string uh, sort word yeah something like that so string unsorted word so we get the unsorted we give sorted back cool so how can we do that? Um, spoilers. Um, if we go here and have a look at the at the words that we get, you see that um, some of them are in capital letters. Uh, for example, this one, this one, and even this one. So um, we need to be careful. So because we will have something like compare a capital letter to, to a small letter and that will not will not work. So what we will do here is now to take that unsorted whoops we take this one, this unsorted word. Uh, first thing to do is to um, lowercase perfect and then to split it. Why is it? Split, come on, split, split, and then, okay, so we need to sort it. And let's have a look if there's something called sort. There is, okay, we can use this. And let's go to the sort method. I already opened the, the documentation. 
So you have a sort method, um, compare, okay. So you see they, you can use a function in there. Or if you don't use a function, it's sort by itself. Like you have 13 to 11, minus 11 is sorted like uh, minus 11 to 13. Or if you have something alphabetically, it, it's sorted, it, it gets sorted alphabetically. So no need to use um, a function inside here. So perfect. So we say sort and then and then that's it. So okay, so well, what's the problem here? So let's have a look. A value of type void can't return from the method sort word because it has return type of string. Hmm. So let's go back to the thing. It returns void. That's not good, right? Okay, so how can we solve this um, problem? If we go out, um, here, um, I already searched for that, and there's something called the double dot or the cascade notation. So the cascade notation, if we uh, search in the Dart documentation, allows you to make sequence of operations on the same object. Okay, that's, that sounds okay. Maybe we need it. So if I open a new uh, Dart pad, uh, let's open a new window, maybe that's, that's better. Dart pad. Okay. Nope, it's the same. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, so let me explain what cascade um, um, cascade notation does. So, for example, we have a class. Okay, uh, let's call that class car. And we have in the car two methods. Uh, the the first one. Uh, so it's void. The first one is um, drive, and we just oops, 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 oops. we well, what's happening? So the first one is uh, drive and just print uh, drive. Okay, and the second one. Mm, Honk, for example, and let's call, and then we print honk honk. All right, so we have um, the class, and then we have the the two. So we the two methods. Let's call it here. So we have car, car is car okay 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 so um cool um what we need to do here what is what is your problem here unidentified unidentified class uh, yeah uh, sorry so like this uh not capital letter cool so how can we access? <clears throat> sorry. How can we access that uh, method? So we say car dot, for example, drive, or car dot um, honk. And if we run this, we see drive Hong Kong. Okay. We can do also something like this. We we copy this, and for whatever reason, we need it a couple of times. And then we got we get this one. But there's an easy way to write all of this easier. Okay, what we can do is car dot dot. So now we access the drive and honking again. We say drive dot dot honk dot dot drive dot dot honk. You get the idea, right? And if I run this, 
So basically, that's the um, that's the uh, cascade notation. But um, what it also does, if you read this, um, by the way, I'll link all of this um, 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 yeah these pages in the uh, description below, so you can have a look at it. So um, this guy says, oh girl, I don't know. Uh, Gunther, it's a guy. Um, so he said that um, the, in the former example re refers to new list, while dot refers to a return value to previous part. So it makes a new list and then it puts it in a new list. So that's basically how can we avoid the void problem. Okay. So. Let's go back and see if that kind of solves our problem. So it says no. Why? So a value of type list can't be returned from a method sort word because it has time string. Okay. So this one returns a, a list. Okay. So uh, because what are we doing now? So we have a, a, a list here. This one makes a new list. So it makes like uh, it. Sorry, this one is a is a uh, makes a list because we're splitting the the string into uh, characters, and this one just sorted sort the the things. So we need to put everything in a in a string, right? So what we can do is to wrap all of this. In a thing called uh, to string. Uh, no, no, so, sorry. Um, to list, actually. Yes, this one. Okay. Is it not working? Uh, sorry, that's join. We need this one. So we need to join everything to a, a, a list, a, a string. So if you see here, uh, string join you get a list of strings so these brackets are a uh, list list of string join string bam cool so we implemented this thing here all right so we need this one and then this one okay so how can we do this let's go let's go here and say okay we need to return um, return our solution here cool so what did we say we take this word we sort it so let's let's do that first so um, uh, we get in the list so let's start with the list first I think it's easier so we tapped into the list a list of words Bam dot so now we need to go through the list so we can use where and the um, let's call the element e as an element and e dot let's see what can we say so um, this is the element see so what is the element in the, in our case? The element in our case is stream. It's the first element. Okay, so we're going through the list. Oops. All right, so let's, let's do basically this. So we take the word, uh, word dot sort word. Okay, it doesn't, let's copy this. Um, or um, basically we say sort we copied that already right yeah word we take this one and then we say is it comparable to sort uh, word a uh, e sorry so is this one comparable to that one? 
we need to put it in a list. So we say to list, all right. Okay, so we put it in a list. All right, let's um, try that out. Uh, what is this? Okay, we put it here. And let's say print anagram dot. So we have um, find anagrams. So let's do our example. So master. Let's give it um, a list. We said dog. We said uh, cat. Not like this. Cat. So cool. Um, so we said stream. And at the end we have uh, matters. Okay, so let's see if this is working. Hey, perfect. Stream must matters. Seems like it's working. Perfect. Good. All right, so let's copy this and put it in the in here and see what happens. So let's go here and change true to false. Place, bloop, bloop, bloop. place all of that. Okay, it looks good. Cool. So save this, save this, and go to this one. Dart, forget. Let's uh, get the dependencies. All right, Dart run test, and let's see if it's working. Okay, it's not working. Why? Um, edge case tests where words are not anagrams of themselves. Ah, okay, okay. So if you have, so if we go to the test again, so we have here, for example, go, and go is not an anagram of go. So the, if it's the same um, word, it's not an anagram. Okay. So we have banana here as well. We have listener here as well. So we need to take care of that. So how can we do it? Um, it's basically easy. So we go here um, or here. Um, the problem with this one, it's, you will not see the, the solution. Uh, you will not see if the error is, is uh, solved because it says, okay, whatever. Uh, there's no, no case test case for that. So let's do it here. Okay, so in here, in this thing, we, we said here, sort word, word is, is it the same as that one? Oh, and it should not be. So these two, this, this should be true. So both words are the same. The sorted list alphabetically should be the same. And it should not be the same word, okay? So uh, we have uh, the word. Basically, word should not be uh, e. That's the thing, right? But uh, be careful because we have capital letters and small letters. So what we need to do here as well is say uh, to lowercase. Let's copy that. Let's copy this and put it here and here as well. Okay, so let's see if that's uh, working. Where's terminal? Let's run the test. Perfect. So basically, this is our solution. Um, let me do it like this. See if you can see it. All right, cool. So basically, this is our solution. So um, one of the most important things that I want you to take from this uh, video is that you need to. Let me show you my face. Yes. 
So you need to, to write things down, write your solution down, see if there are problems with the, with, with the way of thinking, see if you can make like better solution and come, come up with things. So in that way you will be, it will be easier for you. So if I go back, so this is the solution, what we did here. So we, we took all of this, we, we said, okay, this is a method that we need to implement. We did it. Okay, then step, this is step one. Okay, then this is step two. This is step three. Okay, so in this step, there are a couple of things that, that I need to take care. First of all, um, I need to make it to lowercase. Okay, second of all, I need to, and so on. So it makes easier for you to, to implement uh, in a code. So as I said, um, as I said again, uh, uh, programming is a tool. It's not the way of thinking. It's only a tool. The most important thing is how you how you put everything in coding. Put it in a paper. Put it in UML. Put it in whatever technique you will you like to use, and then program everything. Okay, cool. So if you find this helpful. Please give me a like, sub, and I'll see you next time. Steve out.